Science Central. Two, one, lift off. The eagle has landed. Beautiful. Magnificent desolation. Science Central sat down with astronaut and American icon Buzz Aldrin at his home in California to answer more of your questions. Hello, Mr. Aldrin. My name is Will Shields, and I was wondering what kind of physical side effects space travel has on the body. The, uh, the physical side effects, uh, Will, that come from uh, space flight really depend on how long you've been up there. Uh, initially, some people, maybe up to half of uh, half of the uh, crew members do experience some tendencies for for nausea, dizziness, what we call uh, space sickness. Now, when a spacecraft is traveling uh, between Earth and the moon, then we're subjected to solar flares and to, to other radiation. So we need to understand exactly uh, what this is going to affect for a longer duration space flight. Hi, Mr. Aldrin. My name is Rachel Hill, and I was wondering, what was the strangest thing you saw while you were in space? We had a few things uh, like uh, uh, computer um, glitches that, that uh, kind of confused us and mission control for a while during our landing attempt. And uh, then we landed a little bit uh, long, and we ran a little low on fuel. I wouldn't call that strange, but it was certainly uh, something that we had to pay attention to. Uh, but we finally touched down with about 15 seconds of fuel, and, uh, and that, that was very satisfactory as far as we were concerned. Hi, Mr. Aldrin. My name is Al. What was the first thing that you ate when you got back from the moon? Oh, well, Al, what was the first thing I ate when I got back from the moon? Well, uh, I don't really remember. I was probably relishing uh, some coconut ice cream. That's kind of my favorite. <laughs> you know, when people come back from a combat mission, they're given a shot of mission whiskey. Now, I know that's not something that's on the mind of young kids, <laughs> but uh, uh, that, that's indeed what, uh, what we were given uh, when we came back. I don't know whether you want to use that example or not. Hi, Mr. Aldred. I'm Lucille Ehrlich. My question to you is, would you ever consider going back to the moon? Would I consider going back to the moon? I think anyone who's experienced space flight would like to repeat whatever they uh, were given the chance to do, but that's just impractical. Uh, there isn't a space program that, that allows you to go back to the moon. And I understand that as much as anyone would like to float around in space again, we would all like to do that again, but it just uh, isn't in the cards for us to be able to do that. You can catch Buzz on the big screen in the new animated 3D film, Fly Me to the Moon. Be sure to check back with sciencecentral.com for our full in-depth interview with Buzz Aldrin. Develop spacecraft to be able to go back to the moon and preparation for ways of getting to Mars.